reasserting authority, or trying to. This morning, new video of Russia's defense minister, the man who faced a mutiny this weekend. Pictured overseeing the Ukraine operation, Sergei Shoigu also controls Russia's nuclear arsenal. The video is mute and doesn't say when it was filmed. Other images have not been widely broadcast here. Russians in the city of Rostov-on-Don cheering for the leader of this weekend's aborted rebellion, even taking selfies with Yevgeny Prigozhin. His insurrection bringing the country to the brink of chaos, his mercenary troops closing in on the capital, Moscow. Before an unprecedented deal with President Putin, brokered by another president, Belarus leader Alexander Lukashenko, apparently allowing the man behind the insurrection to go unpunished and into exile. Overnight, Russian TV commentators declaring a senseless massacre was avoided with maturity. Beijing saying this morning it supports Russia maintaining national stability, while the US and Ukraine sensing weakness at the heart of the Kremlin. I think we've seen more cracks emerge in the, the Russian facade. It is too soon to tell exactly where they go. Some commentators in Russia are calling for the mutiny leaders to be punished, even executed, pointing to President Putin's reputation for not easily forgiving betrayal. Prigozhin kept his life but lost his Wagner group, uh, and he should be very careful around open windows in his new surroundings uh, in Belarus. All that's left behind in Rostov-on-Don, occupied by the rebel group for less than a day, tank tracks and questions. <laughs> How can one, in a situation where we are in conflict with another country, have an internal war as well, this man says. Vladimir Putin's power challenged like never before. On Saturday, the president called it a stab in the back. How will he and Russia respond now?